now. And thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Bob Chubak. And I'm Megan Miller. First at 6 this Tuesday, Horry County students who live in gated communities and ride the school bus will board the bus just a little differently starting next school year. News 13's Taylor Maresca is live right now at the Waterway Palms community in Carolina Forest with parents' reaction to those changes. Taylor? Well, Bob, Megan, parents of students who live in gated communities are angry and confused over the latest change that says school buses will no longer enter their communities. River Oaks Drive is a busy road in Carolina Forest, and now school buses will stop on the side to pick up students. There is no safe way to wait on the side of River Oaks for a bus. We've all seen how people drive on that road, and um, it only takes one person to decide they don't give a to hit somebody's kid. It came in the form of a website update and a Facebook post by the Horry County area bus offices last night. They just put it on the website without communicating it out. There was no email, no communication from Horry County schools on this huge change. In March, a 15 year old was hit by a car while waiting for her school bus on River Oaks Drive. But now they're going to have all these kids come out to River Oaks and wait for a school bus. It just doesn't make sense. Parents say the road isn't even the whole problem. They worry about impatient drivers. People speeding because they're ticked off at the buses stopping and they can't go anywhere because they got to get stuck behind the buses all the way down River Oak. We've been getting mad and then trying to go around the buses and potentially hitting children. Parents I spoke to want pickups to go back to normal. I would really like for them to reevaluate the reason they're doing this and kind of weigh the odds between is what I'm doing this for really more important than the lives of kids. And if that's not possible, they just want transparency. It all comes down to transparency and communication. And I also believe that there is a way to compromise on this. Why did they make this change? What were the reasonings behind it? Horry County School says it's just a change in guidelines due to route efficiencies and maintaining private security devices. They say if any communities have a concern, they should reach out to the district. Live in Carolina Forest, Taylor Maresca, News 13. Thanks a lot, Taylor.